Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I'm going to tell you how to install this Ant FPV micro camera guys onto your Cinevo drone frame. In this video guys, I have used my SpeedyB F7 mini flight controller stacks and I will tell you how to wire this and connect this Ant FPV camera onto the flight controller and to this Cinevo drone frame. In my previous videos, I have already done the unboxing of this Ant FPV camera and also my flight controller and this drone frame. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the videos above or in the description below for you guys to check it out so guys if you're new to assembling drone ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share before we move further guys if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos let's get started so guys before we can start soldering the camera onto the flight controller we walk you through the pins and how i am going to connect all these components together guys so here on to ant fpv camera guys here you can see you have 5 volt to 25 volt in ground so that is how guys you power your camera and then you have a video output which is going to go on to the video input pin of the flight controller guys and then you have ground and osd guys this is for controlling the camera menu guys so here you have an osd pin which will be connected to the camera control pin of the flight controller guys so that is how guys more or less you are going to connect as you can see guys i have already extended the wires of the camera guys so as to be able to place the camera right onto the front side of the drone frame guys as my flight controller is onto the back side so i need a length of the wire guys so as to be able to install the camera onto the front side of the drone frame and then move the wire all the way to the back so as to be able to connect it to the flight controller guys so that is how guys more or less we are going to connect let me walk you through on the color of the wires guys so here right out of the camera guys you have, you have red and black which is going to be your power and ground which is connected to orange and green wire guys when i extended the wires and then you have yellow wire guys which is your video signal which is connected onto the orange wire guys so that is how i have connected and then lastly guys i will not be connecting the ground part of the OSD or menu control which you will need it when you have an external joystick connected but then for camera control done directly by the flight controller you do not need that ground wire to be connected which is a green wire coming out of the camera guys which is going to be a no connection and then the black wire guys is your OSD or menu control which will be connected to the camera control pin of the flight controller so that is what you have as per the color coding goes of the wire that is coming out of this ant fpv mini camera guys here on to the drone frame guys here on to the back side in my previous videos i have already told you how to install the flight controller guys in my previous videos guys i have already told you how to install and connect the vtx if you have not seen those videos guys i will put the link of the videos above or in the description below for you guys to check it out on to my flight controller guys here i have few pins which will help me connect the camera so here i have 5 volt and ground so as to be able to power my camera guys so that is what it is used for and then you have camera input or video signal input so that is where your video output of the camera goes and then you have cc or camera control that is where your osd menu control will be connected onto this flight controller so that you can control the menu options of the camera right from the flight controller using the remote control guys so that is what it is used for guys so let's quickly connect all those wires here onto the flight controller so guys now let's quickly solder the wire guys as you can see onto my camera guys i have put a string cable cover onto the wires guys so that the cable management stays neat so here are the wire guys which is coming out of the camera guys let's quickly solder them one by one onto the flight controller guys so let's first quickly solder the camera control which is black onto the camera control pad So my camera control is connected. So guys, now let's quickly connect the video signal wire guys, which is your purple wire. Let's quickly connect it onto the flight controller. And then your ground, which is your green. And the last one is your power, which is your orange wire. 
so as you can see guys all four of my wires are now connected so my camera is ready to be installed onto the drone frame now guys since my camera module is connected onto the flight controller let me show you guys how to install the camera onto the drone frame guys so here you can see guys the wire is coming out of the flight controller guys as you know the flight controller has a gst connector which is going to be connected onto your esc guys via gst so which we can do it later guys here you can see guys the wire is coming out we can put the camera guys right on the top of the esc going over the esc guys and then your camera can be placed onto the front side guys as you can see guys the camera is really small so there will be no problem installing the camera like this onto the front side of the drone frame guys so as to be able to have the clear view of the obstacle or video right from the front side of the drone frame guys so that is how guys we are going to install and then later guys we will put the esc back to its place how we have installed before guys so that is how guys i'm going to install it let's quickly do that so guys as you can see here the wire from the camera is coming out of the center hole on the top of the drone frame guys and then i have tied it up using the zip tie so that it stays at its place so here are the ports guys that will be connected onto the back side of the camera guys so three port and two ports so that is how it is so it will stay onto the front like this now guys let's quickly install the standoffs guys which will hold the camera onto the front let's prepare the standoffs for the camera so guys here is your camera and here is the rubber cover that it came with although you can install the camera just like this onto the standoffs guys but i prefer to install it with this rubber cushion guys so as to have the lesser vibration in the camera guys whenever the drone is operating so we'll put the camera inside ensure that guys the holes on this rubbers and the hole of the camera sides guys is aligning so that whenever you tighten this up they both stay together at its place so that is how guys you need to align the camera guys and then guys these are the standoffs that i have purchased separately maybe your drone frame comes along with this mine did not come so i had to purchase this separately guys this is a 3d printed part guys you can get it easily over amazon i will put the link of these parts in the description below for you guys to check it out so here you can see guys the standoffs has a bigger hole that will be used for attaching this standoff onto the drone frame and it has a smaller hole onto the hand guys which will go onto the side of the camera guys so here so as you can see guys on to this part guys there is a loop so we will keep the loop on to the outer side of the camera guys just like this and tighten this up using the m dot screw that came along with this camera guys so let's do that quickly so first insert it into the hole and then place it onto the top of the camera side guys and then quickly tighten this up So here you can see guys this is properly installed onto the side let me do the same onto the other side just push it onto the hole so that it holds and then place it like this onto the top and then tighten this up So this is how guys you want this to look like whenever you finish mounting the standoffs like this. Now let's quickly install it onto the drone frame guys. So guys it, these holes onto the standoffs will align directly to the holes that you have here onto the top from the bottom side guys. Before we can do that guys let's quickly connect the wires onto the back. So guys as you can see I have connected the wires and then I have put in the M.3 screws from the bottom side and the other part of the screw is coming out from the top as you can see from the side guys and we will quickly tighten this up using the M.3 nuts guys like this onto the top 
as you can see like this and then on the other side as well guys we'll put another nut so that it does not fall off and then guys we will quickly tighten them up using the screwdriver guys from the bottom so here are the screws guys we'll quickly tighten them up We'll hold the nut from the back so that it does not move and then quickly tighten this up so here you can see guys my camera is properly installed onto the drone frame guys onto the top guys you can have another standoffs to install any additional cameras if you want and this is the place where you put the battery so this completes the build on how to install the camera onto your drone frame and connect it to the flight controller guys in my future videos i will also tell you how to configure this camera and control this camera from the flight controller and everything guys so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those future videos so this is it guys this concludes this video i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications from my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies